I think it's reasonable to talk about closing capacity and the relationship with FRC here. Honestly, closing capacity is a little bit of a higher level concept, um, but we've really explained all of the pieces you need to understand the effects of closing capacity. So we'll just go over this quickly here. Remember that the closing capacity is the minimum lung volume required before small airways start to collapse. So at some lower lung volume, you'll see the collapse of these small airways like your alveolar ducts and your respiratory bronchioles. This minimum volume needed to prevent collapse increases as you get older. So when you're young, you need to have very low lung volumes before your small airways would start to collapse. Whereas when you're elderly, you need actually quite high volumes in your lungs to prevent the collapse of the small airways. I'm going to draw the FRC volume, so your resting lung volume. And you know, technically this would increase a little bit with age, but let's just draw it for a flat line for the purposes of this diagram. So your FRC, this will be when you're standing. These lines intersect when you're about 66 years old. That means that up until this point, the closing capacity is relatively inconsequential because you can just breathe at your normal volumes. Maybe I'll show that here. You can breathe at your normal volumes and your closing capacity is gonna be down here. So you'll never actually naturally breathing dip down to such a low lung volume that you start to get collapse of your small airways. Sure, if you were to um, do a forced exhale into your expiratory reserve volume, then just at the lower part of that, you might start to get small airway collapse. But for the most part, you won't notice this because you're just breathing in this range and you will not get collapse of your small airways until you dip down to this volume. But your closing capacity increases the older you get. And then when you're 66, your closing capacity is actually higher than your resting lung volumes. So that would be, you know, your closing capacity is increasing. The older you get will go higher and higher until you're 66 now or 70. And your closing capacity is actually going to be higher than your resting lung volume, which means breathing in and out and in and out naturally here, you'll actually get closing of these small airways just in your natural tidal volumes. This effect is even more exaggerated when you lower your FRC by going to a supine position. Your closing capacity is higher than your FRC above the age of about 44 years old. So again, above this age, when you're supine, the natural resting position of your lungs does not have enough volume in it to prevent closing of the small airways. So you will have this effect of closing off of this small airway. Therefore, there is no flow in or out of these alveoli because the conducting airway is blocked. So this increased closing capacity with age will cause your small airways to collapse more easily. The clinical application of this knowledge is that by taking a deep breath, you should reverse this low volume dependent small airway collapse to a state where this small airway is now open and you are able to get um, ventilation to these alveoli. So encourage patients to take deep breaths during pre-oxygenation, otherwise you may not be filling these alveoli that are connected by small airways that are collapsed by low volumes.